Yusuf Rami, thank you very much for coming to WPC. Thank you very TV. much. Yusuf, you are a member of the Royal Cabinet in Morocco. What, is the, what are your hopes and what are your fears after the election of President Trump, President-elect Trump? Okay, uh, thank you very much. You see, we have a strong relation with the U.S. We have a strategic partnership with the U.S. What we want is to reinforce this relation. And what we want is that America and the new administration be more involved in order to solve the ongoing conflicts in the region. We need America to be on board. So what we, what we are waiting now, because of elections and campaign is something, and the reality is something else. Yeah. We, know to, we want to, to, to see the new administration, and we will offer to work not only to, to, to combat terrorism, because we have been working for a long time, and today I think what we need is a new strategy. Because the military intervention, the security approach is not, not, suf not sufficient to solve the conf conflicts in the region and to fight Daesh. We need a new approach to deconstruct the jihadist narrative and to present an alternative narrative. And we need to have everybody on board. One country alone, however strong he is, he cannot. Do you think that one of the problems, though, is the... Um, the difference of, uh, well, the conflict really between Iran and Saudi Arabia. And if you were President Trump, having, as President Trump said, he would tear up the nuclear agreement with, with Iran, I mean, how do you react to that? I think that uh, we should work to, to, con to build on the, what we have achieved, to create confidence building measures, to continue negotiations, to uh, search for a spirit of compromise because the, the, the policy of confrontation doesn't, doesn't uh, lead us nowhere. So we need to, to continue this dialogue because there was a major achievement. Yeah. I mean, Yusuf Amrani, you, you have been to this conference several times. Yeah. Uh, what do you find useful? I mean, is it, there, is a, there always seems to be a spirit of compromise in this yes. conference. I mean, exactly. how does it help you? It helped me a lot to understand, to, to listen to each other, because in the Arab world, unfortunately, we don't listen to each other. Today, I think we do to, to listen to other point of view, to maybe have a different perspective. And, and this, this uh, WPC offers you different perspective from the Palestinian side, from the Israeli side, from the Arab side. And sometimes, you know, we, we test some ideas. And some ideas, we, we came here to test these ideas, like how, how we could work with good governance, transparency, democracy, human rights. These issues are not any more taboos and complex for Morocco, we, because we are working on a daily basis to, 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 to implement a democratic system. So I think today, when we in the Arab world, and last time I think we talked about it, we need to do our own homework first, and then count on the partners to help us. Yusuf Amrani, thank you very much indeed. Barakallahu feek. Shukran, shukran.